All right. Are we ready to begin? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> we are here today to decide the case of Ratatouing versus Toria. The defendant, Toria, is charged with murder by the plaintiff, Ratatouing. I am Slammer Doc, the appointed judge in this case. The proceedings of the case are directed by Resolution 14 of Lorecraft Server Law. Since the government of Hexapel does not have an instrument in place to handle criminal or civil disputes, this automatically triggers the swag to be involved. Seven players have been randomly selected to serve as the jurors who will decide guilt or innocence. Jurors will select their own head juror to make requests and read the verdict. They will have 72 hours from the posting of this video to come to a preliminary decision. If there is a unanimous decision made after the 72 hours, talking all seven jurors, the verdict will be confirmed if they are all in agreement. If there are any dissenting votes at all, the jury will be allotted an indefinite period of time to deliberate and come to a consensus. If and only if I sense that the deliberation has reached an impasse or a point where the jurors are making no progress, I will deliver a 24 hour warning to the head juror. The jurors will then have 24 hours to make their final points and vote. Whatever the majority, which would be four in this case, Whatever they decide will be the final verdict. Are there any questions about the proceedings themselves? All right, no questions. All right, so I can't emphasize enough the importance of this case. Uh, we are breaking totally new ground and setting a, a precedent, basically. I ask that all parties involved remain civil and not discuss any details of the case with anyone not related to the case. At this time, will the defendant and plaintiff please rise and raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under pains and penalties of perjury, so help you Santiago? I do. I do. Okay, then take your seats and uh, plaintiff Ratatouing, I will allow you to go ahead and make your opening statement at this time. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I know this is a big time commitment, but I really appreciate your willingness to help us out with this. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'll keep this brief because the whole situation couldn't be more simple. Before the debate on Sunday night, Toria murdered me with an ax in broad daylight, directly violating server rule number three. She kept my decapitated head and has already sold it for profit. There could not be a more clear cut case of murder. All I'm asking is that server law is upheld and this crime does not go unpunished. Thank you. All right, thank you, Ratatouing. Miss um, Toria, you may make your opening statement now. Hello, Your Honor. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I would just like to say, this is not as straightforward as you may think. You may think this is murder. You may think this is just straight up murder, out of the gate, cold-blooded, but you don't have all the facts. And in this trial today, I will show you the facts and you will be surprised at what you may learn. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Toria. Okay, now, Mr. Ratatouing, you may proceed with your, your argument or present any witnesses at this time. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, first, I'd just like to direct your attention to the server rules. Um, as you can see, number three, right up there next to no griefing and no stealing, is no killing. It's very clear cut no killing except during pvp situations when both players give consent to the fight no one gave consent in this fight and it is honestly egregious that we have to have this drawn out legal process in the first place toria should have been punished the night of the murder instead she has shamelessly flaunted her crime in front of the world and directly profited from it 
Um, exhibit B. These are chats from the marketplace channel, which may I remind everyone, um, everyone has access to this and everyone saw this happen. Um, as you can see at the top, Toria sends a picture of my decapitated head. It clearly says Ratatouille head. And she says, starting the bid at 100 diamonds. And then um, later on into the chat, after uh, many bids have been placed, you'll see in exhibit C that the highest bid was 15 stacks of diamonds. Toria says, it's yours if you can give me 15 stacks of diamonds. And then Shadow Wolf 3 says, bet LOL. Now, I'm not sure if this transaction ever took place, but Toria has confirmed that she has sold my head to an unknown buyer. I don't know for how much money, but this is this is clearly the market value, as you can see in the marketplace chat. There were many players bidding on this head, which I worked for months to keep from falling into anyone hand, anyone's hands but my own. And Toria eventually got so desperate that she decided to violate server law to uh, acquire my head. As you can see in uh, exhibit C, Toria still has every intention of selling off my stolen head for profit if she hasn't already. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ratatouille, are you gonna present any witnesses at this time or? Unless they show up, no, I don't believe so. Okay, Ms. Toria, then the floor is yours. All right, thank you, Your Honor. I just want to start by saying um, the night began with uh, me asking if my headhunter axe was ready. Everyone remembers the purge that happened on July 1st and 2nd. Uh, I bought an axe for that, but then I was going to be out of town, so I didn't get it. So that night, I wanted my axe. No ill intent. You can't really say there's ill intent there. I just wanted my axe. I was going to pay for it. Uh, and then he said he had sold it off. So let me send uh, my exhibit, I guess, D now of him saying my axe is ready. When in fact, he had sold it off to someone else. Um, of course, I can't show you those chat logs. I don't have access to them, but I guess you'll have to take my word for it. So... Understandably, I was a little upset by that. You can get a little upset about things that don't go your way. So, being upset, I go over to him. I have my other axe out because, you know, I didn't get my correct axe. I'm just going to use my other axe. And I just tapped him, tapped him lightly. And he died. Why did he die? I don't know. It seems like someone was throwing potions. Now, I don't have logs that either, but any witnesses there will say, there, there was a potion effect around. I was poisoned by it. I was slowed by it. I don't know what happened. But at the same time those potions were thrown, uh, I had tapped Mr. Uh, Toying in his head, and he died. The after fact of that is I took his head. I knew it was a rare chance. I, I won't, uh, I'll admit to that. I took his head, and I didn't want to give it back because, I mean, I had it now. Why not just take it? Um, but the argument that this is an expensive head is ridiculous, to be fair. Um, you'll see back in exhibit C uh, that I say, it's yours if you can give me 15 stacks of diamonds, LOL. Not the LOL there at the end. It's obviously in a joking manner. Even Shadow Wolf's response is bet, LOL. Obviously, there's a joke going on here. Uh, no one's going to pay 15 diamonds for a head. The head is not even worth it. Let me show you exhibit uh, E, I guess, at this point. Back in that picture of his head, what does that look like to you? Does that look like the head that is here today? This, this Patrick star face? I, I don't think so. That is just a white box. How could that be worth anything? Yes, it has the name attached to it, but you put it up on a wall, who's going to know what that is? No one. So uh, obviously that was a joke. A white box could be sold the same as a block of snow under this category. It's just a white box, you know? So that's the details of this case. Yes, I admit to stealing the head, but no, I will not admit to murder because it was an accident. I did out of, you know, a love tap of someone 
you've seen it often on the server. Um, so yeah, I think that's my case and I think, I think it's solid. Thank you, Ms. Toria. Uh, so uh, just to clarify your, your defense is basically, I'm sorry to simplify this so much, but it, it was an accident. Is that what you're, you're claiming? Yes, that is correct. There were some potions being thrown around and I was, we, we were both caught in the crossfire and at that moment I had hit him and unfortunately he had to pay for it and I stole his head in the process. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. Um, Mr. Ratatouing, uh, do you have a, a rebuttal or any other questions? Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, I would like to respond. Well, um, there's a lot to unpack there, but bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, you did not hear anything that justified murder. First of all, it was not a light tap. She, we were in the arena. She jumped down from an upper level and started hitting me repeatedly. I didn't have armor on because I was about to moderate the debate, and she kept hitting me until I died. Um, secondly, if this was actually an accident that presumably, presumably she would be sorry for admittedly murdering someone she would give back my stolen head and she has so far refused to do anything of the sort um thirdly i would like to uh direct your attention to exhibit e toria states that this head obviously has no value because it's some kind of joke there are many tens of messages in the marketplace chat where many different players are bidding real diamonds on this head as you can see Shadow bids 322 and Reganizer goes up to 336. Eventually, at the end of Exhibit E, you see 450 diamonds. Now, that's not even the end of the bidding. Clearly, this head has real value to many players around the server because I have thus far um, resisted attempts for anyone to. I'm so sorry, uh, Exhibit F, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hard to keep track. But this has my head has value for people around the server because I've gone to great lengths to restrict anyone from getting it because I wanted to inflate its value uh, so that I could sell it for a profit later on. And this has derailed uh, all of my legal attempts to do that with Toria, firstly, admitting to accidentally murdering me and then refusing to return my stolen property, my head, no less. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there is no reason you should not convict Toria for murder. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ratatouing. Um, so it's uh, it's going to boil down to uh, witnesses. I, I would really like to see or hear from a witness because I really want to to know more about you know if you were truly hit one time by accident or was it multiple hits? I we, I do not know the answer to that question. So do either of you have witnesses that can back up your statements? I contacted the recycler earlier to um, attend this hearing as she was uh, in close quarters to the entire incident. Unfortunately, I've been unable to get a hold of her for the past couple hours, and I don't think she'll show up. But if possible, I'll ask her to take a recorded uh, testimony and perhaps we can send that to the jury the recycler do you solemnly swear that you will tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth under pains and penalties of perjury so help you santiago yes perfect all right ms clur um how would you describe our relationship I would say that publicly we've had a lot of disputes recently. So you would agree that we're not allies? Correct. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please note that Ms. Clur has absolutely no motivation to lie in my favor. Uh, Ms. Clur, were you present during the incident on Sunday night? I was present. To the best of your knowledge, how many witnesses were there? Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe like five or four. Okay. Um, tell the jury what you saw happen. Yeah. Um, so 
we were standing over in house right of like the ex belief arena which is which was used for the debate um but we're like over in house right where toria started attacking um the naked and defenseless ratatowing um who was known as the disgraced ex-president of hexapel and then after a bit of hacking with the axe ratatowing did fall did die at the location and then toria um did drop some of ratatowing's inventory i can't really confirm if she left all of his items but i do know she kept his head afterwards which was a white blob. When you say started hacking at Redditoying, what do you mean by that? Um, oh yeah, so she had an axe. And so it definitely took a couple of tries uh, before like Redditoying died. So to just to be I, clear, to my... it was not a single hit. Correct. Thank you, Ms. Clear. Uh, no more questions. Miss Clur has many reasons to lie for Mr. Toying. They are indeed friends and converse often, as proven in many chats throughout the Discord. Most notably, the Snapchat conversation about espionage Miss Clur shared with everyone. Note the way Miss Clur responds to Mr. Toying's question of, When you say, started hacking at Ratatoying, what did you mean by that? Miss Clur responds, oh yeah, like she had forgotten something and just remembered what to say. She then details, in shockingly similar words as Mr. Toying used in court, how many times he claims he was hit. The wording is just too similar. People of the jury, there is no doubt in my mind that Ms. Clare was briefed before this testimony and was told to lie, specifically about the times, amount of times Mr. Toying was hit. Let me just remind the ladies and gentlemen of the jury that this is a murder trial, not larceny. I am guilty of stealing Mr. Toying's head, but not of murder. No further comment at this time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, as you heard, Toria has absolutely no substantial argument, certainly nothing that would justify murder. Even if it was an accident, it's still murder. And I am still um, obligated my, my head to be returned to me. What she did on Sunday night was murder. I know it, she knows it, the many witnesses know it, and most importantly, you know it. But Toria doesn't care. She thinks she won't be punished. Don't prove her right. Don't let this server become a place where murder is acceptable because no one is above the law. Your Honor, um, all I ask is for the return of my head. I carefully guarded my head for months not allowing anyone to have it until Toria got so desperate she decided it was worth it to violate server law. Toria, I think she already sold my head to an unknown buyer, so I ask that this transaction be reversed, uh, that the buyer gives my head back, and that Toria's unlawful profits are confiscated. I don't care if her profits go to me, I just care that she doesn't get them because she should not profit off a of murder. I also ask that... Um, should it please the court, Toria pay additional punitive damages as punishment, um, kind of as a deterrent against this behavior in the future. I say we should make an example out of her so no one feels emboldened to violate server law. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Ratatouing. Uh, Ms. Toria, you may present your closing argument. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, May I quote what uh, Mr. Toying just said? Don't let this server become a place where murder is acceptable. What you've just seen described here is not a murder. Yes, I stole his head. I'll admit to that. But this is not a, a thief thievery trial. This is not stealing. Okay. This is about murder. And that I did not do. That was a light tap. And that was all. So uh, I give you that, you know, what you'll do with it. I don't know. But let me just tell you. This is a murder trial. This is not a trial for stealing. And if you vote me guilty, I don't know what that'll mean, but good luck to you. Your Honor, may I respond? Yes, you may, Mr. Tewing. May I read to the jury um, the definition of murder? 
the unlawful premeditated killing of one human being by another. And I died at the hands of Toria. It's really that uh, simple. It's a murder. This, doing, I'm going to stop you there. Uh, we are not human beings in this courtroom. Sorry, let me let me uh, rephrase. The unlawful killing of one Minecraft player by another. Objection. You said premeditated. There's no way you can decide that. So Your Honor, I'd like to I'd like to read the definition of killing. An act of causing death, especially deliberately. Toria swung her axe at me and I died. We really don't need to go beyond that. Okay, Mr. Tewing, are you, are you done? That's all, Your Honor. Ms. Toria, do you have any response to that? I will allow it at this time. No, I do not, Your Honor. Okay, then. I want to thank you both for um, being here today as ordered. And uh, now I want to uh, talk with the jury for just a moment, if I may. Um, jury, you know, this is a, this is, like I said before, this is unprecedented. You're, you're going to make a decision that's going to be reverberated through uh, the server history from now on. So I want you to take this very seriously. Uh, take all the facts together and uh, deliberate this, uh, you know, responsibly. Uh, you will have 72 hours from the time that you view this video to make a decision. I would prefer that you reach a unanimous decision in those 72 hours. However, it is your prerogative to not do that. You can, uh, if somebody on there decides that they do not agree with the others, it, it, what I will do is I will give you an additional indefinite period of time to deliberate. And I'm not saying it's going to be you know, one day or or 10 days, we're going to feel it out and see how the deliberations go. And if I feel that there's an impasse where you're just at a stalemate where you're not going to reach a decision, then I will give the head juror a 24-hour a warning. And at that time, you'll have 24 hours to make your final decision. So after that, then the majority will rule and the verdict will be handed down. And at that time, I will decide what the punishment shall be. Uh, for the head juror, I would like for uh, suggestions uh, to consider for punishment if you find the defendant guilty. So that is all I have. Um, again, I, I thank everyone for their participation in this. And uh, that's that's all I have. And the and we're adjourned.